Hello everyone, welcome to another video for Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. This is episode 17, Rescue the Intel Agents. And this is a S-rank, Foxhound emblem, no traces walkthrough. And this is actually one of the more funner missions that I've done. That I really enjoyed this mission, especially when you do it with this strategy. So what I'm going to do is be dropped off close to this uh, prisoner that we're going to have to extract. And we're going to want to make our way there as quickly as possible and come up in behind here. I'm going to jump off D Walker. I'm going to go into search mode. So keep that in mind that I actually have the search mode for, for uh, D Walker, which comes in you know, handy very, very much. Uh, I'm going to want to get to this guy as quickly as you can, and we're going to want to extract him. And when you do it in one full swoop like this, it's actually, it's not that hard, really. You're, you're going to want to then slowly creep in behind this guy here. Hopefully he doesn't turn around. And also keep in mind, I did this mission. And I still have my no retries bonus as well. This was all one fell swoop that I did this in. I never retried this at all. This is just boom, just one, one piece, one one mission that I did complete, no traces. And also those animals there. What is that like a wolf or hyena or something? That can you know those things are annoying. I'm gonna call in D Walker, and that that. That animal was is he's going to start to come towards me here. You gotta want to be careful because they will, you know, screw everything up. They could possibly the enemies could spot you. I'm just gonna keep on duck walking. I mean, I can't believe it. I mean he still notices me. Finally he stops and I put the put the prisoner down. I'm I'm gonna fault in him. And look at that, he sees me again. I'm like those things are so annoying. And of course if you shoot him You'll probably forfeit your no traces bonus because you're firing your weapon. So I can't, I don't want to do that. So you don't want to keep away from him. And then I can get the hell out of here. And then make your way to the final prisoner here. This is where it gets a little trickier because there's some guards around here. And you could probably do this in the day. It's going to be vastly more difficult though. But it can be done in the daytime. It, it, I chose nighttime here because you do it, you do get so much bonus towards your camouflage. And I would like to go back and try this in the day as well. But you're gonna want to make your way up around here. I got I put D Walker in search mode again, so I know where these dudes are. Creep yourself around these rocks. Make your way down. To where the prisoner is located. Now there's going to be a few guys down here. And luckily at night. There's not too many. I'm going to turn on the night vision goggles. Because those things are awesome. And I can see pretty much everything. Going on here. Now I think this guy is going to come over. And they're going to start to talk. So, I'm going to make my way around, and keeping my fingers crossed that they don't spot me here, this can be a little tricky, because you're going to make your way down into this pit, and I'm going to become awfully close to where those guys are. So, now I'm down in here. Get the prisoner out. They're still talking, and I'm hoping that, you know, they're fixated on one another there that they're not going to see me so I'm going to duck walk out of here because this is where it becomes a little difficult because you're duck walking out that guy like spots something and he's but he doesn't spot me like like outright he just was like what was that and he didn't quite know what was up so that that was good so you know once you go around that rock back there I mean you're good um and you're in the clear 
Now you want you're going to want to call in the helicopter. So I'm going to put this guy down so I can get on D Walker and get the hell out. D Walker will manhandle him and just pick him up. And we're going to want to get out of this area. And I thought about calling in the helicopter close by here, but then I decided to call in the, uh, the copter a little further away, because I, I don't want hit the, the copter to get spotted. But... Oh, so wait a minute here. Oh, I'm trying to go out of the hot zone, and then I, I realize you can't go out of the hot zone. It, you know, it, it didn't work. So I was like, well, let me call in the helicopter. Let's ca call it out here. So I don't want it to get spotted. So that's what I was trying to do there. I was trying to get out of the hot zone, hopefully, you know, hoping that it would work, but it didn't work. So we're going to want to take the prisoner out here to the helicopter. And we're going to get out of the hot zone. But this mission, guys, is actually very cool to do. One fell swoop like this. It's very satisfying, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to go back and do it in the daytime as well. Uh, I think that would be obviously a lot more challenging to do in the day. Uh, those guys, there's a lot more enemies around, and it becomes very tricky. But it can be done. So... But that's going to do it for me, for this video, guys. Um, so you're going to want to put the prisoner down, you know, get him on the helicopter and get extracted out of here. So you're pretty much done with this. And this will be no traces and it will be an S rank. Uh, this is a pretty cool run that I did here. But if you guys could give a like, I would appreciate it. And... I will see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.